What's up, folks? It's me, Justin, and today I'm going to be talking about the digital product bonanza because that's what I'm going to be doing for a few weeks now. Um, in between publishing articles and all that kind of stuff on the secondary site, occasionally tinkering around with the bulk publishing stuff, um, I realized, you know what? I have a pretty prime opportunity here with getting so much traffic. Uh, I should probably like start or rather, yeah, restart building the email list up. Cat. Oh. Uh, that way, uh, it makes more money. So, uh, so here's the grand overarching idea for this whole thing is just create a series of digital products that I can sell on the case study website. Pretty basic. I started, I mean, I've had this kind of running for a while. Uh, I paused the active campaign because it felt like I was like just breaking even every month. Cause every, you know, it wasn't set up to the, to the breadth of what it could be, but you know, classic build the list drip. Uh, sequence for products, um, sell them, and then uh, bro down. Apparently, I don't, I don't, I don't remember making that joke. Uh, here's kind of the progress of the just on-site sales. Uh, it's pretty lackluster. It's, it's, you know, what ten months or whatever. Um, before this, it was on Gumroad, and I just moved it over to Woo WooCommerce on a subdomain, just because I was like, all right, um, I. You know, WooCommerce is or not WooCommerce, but Gumroad is their stuff. This was before the the fee increase and all that kind of stuff. So, this was um, preemptive, anticipating some nonsense coming through the pipe. So, uh, again, pretty pretty subpar results. Maybe like fifty five bucks a month just from product sales. And the only time, so I was running, um, uh, or had an active campaign on from June to December. That's kind of why the charts are kind of a little bit wonky uh, as far as these 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 bars are um, products or orders. I think the gray, dark grays are orders and the light gray are uh, items purchased. The reason why they get higher is because instead of, well, I just took that free opt-in and made it a free, uh, or the, the opt-in, I made it a free product on the site. So people were still coming on the site or the, the, the subdomain and buying, but um you know, that's just why the chart's a little crazy um, there. But yeah, uh, you know, at, at this point, it'd be really cool to be able to see uh, the chart over the next few weeks and months at least match. Ideally, first step is to match what I'd pay for email marketing. You know, that's that'd be that'd be ideal. And then kind of see how that grows over time. But that's what we're sitting at right now. Pretty, pretty subpar performance. And that's entirely based on hey i started it and then i just kind of like ah all right we only got you know a few products set up some emails and then just kind of whatever so that's where we're at today not not bueno but what so what went wrong kind of already touched on this but you know low quality uh or low quantity of products there's i think two ebooks a bundle and then a kind of on its own, a completely separate thing was a video course. And yeah, it's just kind of, there wasn't a lot going on. So when people went to it, they're like, oh, you know, this is a few things, you know what I mean? As opposed to like a, a shop. Um, and admittedly, I think, I think the, uh, especially the eBooks are pretty low quality. They were made back in 2020. Um, the low quality, both in terms of content, as well as, um, I guess, overall presentation, you know, uh, is it, an ebook. They're, they're, they're ebooks, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I also chose really poor names for both of them. Um, th I could get a lot more specific in what they're meant to be. Um, and I plan on doing that. I plan on, well, actually, talk about this when I go through the all four steps, but. Um, actually want to create something that's or create things that are very specific to what their you know what the, the 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 goal is for the person reading or consuming it or whatever so instead of being like uh you know i don't know just <laughs> imagine if it was just named notebook buy notebook or rather i don't know instead of saying just buy or like the name of the thing is the notebook it was like 600 page blank sheets of paper it's like what what are you doing guy just call it a notebook and also really had the the whole process was unrefined it was very much i just took a lot of the gum road like really hard sell like sell 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 emails 
throw them in the active campaign and let it ride. doesn't really work that well. So, a plan of attack is instead, bloop, uh, focusing on these four areas, of course, um, opt-ins, collecting emails, products, sort of maximizing earning potential, email drips, and not just hard selling, and also feedback. feedback. So I can get an idea of what the people want next. Shazam. So opt-ins. Out with the old and with the new. I'm taking all those old products and turning them into just, just bundling them into the opt-in. Instead of having one little uh, four-page opt-in, it's like, here, you can also have these two ebooks that, by and large, are ancient artifacts. Uh, I'll probably actually won't take them as is. I will edit them and, and make them a little bit more modern, I guess, 2023-ish. Uh, that way it's, uh, the information's relevant. Actually look at it, make sure everything in there is, it makes sense, um, to, to, to this audience of today. Um, of course with that opt-in, it's not going to be like they put in their email and then it's just like goes to a download. It's going to be like, Hey, check your email. That way there are actually people that check their email. Um, not just, uh, they want it and then, you know, whatever. And then basically if they don't, uh, I'll do like two checks, you know, if they don't open the emails, then it's kind of like, all right, that's that's not a good sign. If they don't click on the emails, that's also uh, not a good sign. And I I can't just rely on opens because um, with you know thousands of security, whatever, blah 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 blah. They might get or they might not get registered. Water break. You could say the same for clicks, but to be honest, if somebody's using a browser or an email um, application that doesn't like that prevents click tracking, then they probably have all kinds of other things in place as far as security goes. They don't want to be tracked at all. So probably not going to be able to do a lot of the kind of drip um, if you do like page view based uh, drip campaigns. So really just keeping the, I don't want to have just, you know, thousands of names on lists that don't do anything. Like I want it to be very much, these are people that, if I drop a product, they will purchase. That's ideal. So that's that. Um, and as you can see, I mean, here's between June and December when I actually had the the uh, the opt in live, you know, on the site through Active Campaign. I was getting on average nine uh, new contacts per day, which I think is fantastic. Uh, up from like 22, 23, and that spike there in the middle. Um, zero only at the beginning, but. Typically, I mean, we're getting opt-ins every single day. And I'd say about two-thirds were actually active opt-ins. So really, realistically, a 1,000 is uh, what we ended up with. And actually, I think the reason why I ended the uh, the subscription to Active Campaign was we crossed that threshold of a 1,000 active subscribers or active contacts. So we went from, I don't know, paying like 45 to like 70. And I was like, well, it's barely making you know, that much money a month. So what, what's going on here? <laughs> but at this point, I got money to blow. So might as well experiment a little bit. Uh, products, 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 the whole suite of ducks. Um, looking at you know, tools, graphics, written content, templates, and of course, creating bundles for people to save money. There's a lot of opportunity here um, in, in all those categories. And by and large, it's not terribly difficult to create. It might take, you know, one, two, three, four, maybe up to a week to create something that's a little bit bigger. But for the most part, a lot of these could be created in, in a few hours. Um, and especially if it's like graphics where it's not so much you need to create something brand new every day. It'd be like, you know, something like creating business cards. And... I got a couple, I don't know if there's on the desk. Um, <laughs> you know, a business card does not take a long time to design uh, and then give them the files for them to edit and then print off or whatever. You could do 10 of those, you know, in, in, a, in a day. I mean, if you really just knuckled down and did it. Um, so things like that, uh, you know, tools uh, like spreadsheets and, hey, here's a spreadsheet that you can use to generate X, Y, Z, $5, you know, whatever, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I have an, I have a pretty good idea. It's all in the handy daddy notebook 
of what to create. It's, not, it's just a matter of actually executing. And I'm really looking at a price point of $20 or lower per product. I don't want to be sitting there trying to be like the, the premier or whatever. I want, I, I'd rather make the sale of 99 cents um, from 10 customers than, you know, one customer that buys something for $8 or whatever. Like accessibility is great. Um, and also with the kind of the whole overarching thing is like inside of those products, we'll have affiliate links. So they get the information to go buy the thing or do the thing, whatever. And yeah, it's going to be kind of all uh, part of the ecosystem. <laughs> Um, and Hey, if you know, if you're watching this, you go, Hmm, I kind of want to get into that, but I don't know what to create. Literally just go on Etsy and see what other people are selling. Um, and also what people are buying. A lot of that information is very public. It's showing like what people were reviewed, um, for, uh, in, uh, for an individual shop. I don't know if it actually shows how many sales an individual product gets, but you know, 80, 20 rule most of your stuff's going to be duds, but there's going to be a lot of ones that sell. So that's, that's one piece of advice to take away is just go on Etsy, go look at what other people are selling and be like, Hmm, do I have the capacity to create that? Um, or write that or whatever? Yes, I do. Or outsource or whatever. I can make that as well. And I can sell it. Email. We got the drip and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, so triggers, uh, I'm looking at, uh, a few different kind of triggers, mainly like product view, but not purchased and also page views, but not purchased if they're on the, on the core website, not the subdomain, uh, to just get them started in perhaps also like a time-based thing. Like I, I'll probably also have something where it's just like, you know, on the, um, after they join, uh, a month after they join, send them this sequence and if they haven't already purchased that product for that sequence to check something like that one month after opt-in had they purchased the the notebook no send them the four to seven email sequence for the notebook um i want to do something where it's like again four to seven email sequence for every single product or category category you know obviously something like business cards i, I don't you, you don't need four to seven emails to, to promote a business card but four to seven emails about the importance of having a business card um you know, why a business card makes you look professional and, and why business cards are not out of style, which they are. Um, and then saying, Hey, here we have a bunch of business card templates. All you have to do is fill in your information and you have a well-designed business card right there. So something like that, again, four to seven emails, maybe like, again, 80% info, 20% sale, whatever that equates to three emails, one sale email. Um, you know, four emails, two sale emails, something like that. And then, you know, if they don't make the purchase after that sale email, maybe like wait two, three days, send a coupon. And yeah, and just even just looking at active campaign and getting back into it, looking at the, they have a, something that's called a marketplace. You don't have to buy anything. It's just like, hey, here's all the stuff that other people have set up or here's like templates for things set up. There's so much stuff that like, before looking at it and reading it and like looking like, Oh, look at this concept of, uh, um, an email trigger. Like I, I couldn't even conceptualize what <laughs> I couldn't even conceptualize it. It's just so outside of my realm of expertise. I was like, Oh, you can do that. Like, Oh my God, that's genius. Like why not have it s send an email when they haven't been on the site in two months, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, Hey, come back, look at, did you check out these articles? Just all kinds of stuff can be done there. Um, ultimately, you know, protect against the uh, algorithm updates also. So, ah, uh, then feedback. I think this is the last slide. So here we go. Here we go. Feedback. What the fuck is working? Uh, I think what is selling is, you know, going to be the most important or the highest valued indicator. What is actually getting sales? Okay. We should probably make more of that. Um, of course, reviews, all that whole that whole thing. Um, what'd you like? What'd you didn't like? Feel or, sorry. Feel free to respond in this email. That kind of stuff. Um, eventually, perhaps I could start my own affiliate program. Um, you know, depending on what's actually selling, it's like okay, the people purchasing this, this purchasing purchasing this, would they be the kind of people that would also you know share with their friends like, hey, check this out, and then give them. Best part about this, this is all digital. You can have insane commission rates 
50, 60, 75%. And now, now everything's compounding, growing. Like that, that's, that's where the, that's when shit's rolling. I, I won't look at that until I'm probably making like, you know, three, four, 500 a month from just individual product sales. Lastly, I can just ask the email list, like, Hey, what do you guys want next? What would, what would you find valuable? Um, I think the email, like actively, there's a thousand people on there. Granted, I haven't emailed them in four months, but I can just ask them, Hey, if, if we started creating products, what would you guys be interested in, in, in learning about or knowing or needing, what do you need and getting feedback that way and literally just tell me what to sell you and I will sell it to you. And then other, other people come in and see that same thing repeat ad nauseum. I think that's it. That's all. This is more for me than for you. All right. This is me putting my thoughts and ideas and make sure they're solidified and they make sense. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out.